Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well. It's almost 5 a.m. on Christmas Day, so you're gonna get 23 and 24 in one vlog. Only because on the 23rd I was really really sick and my emotions just got the better of me. So I was like in bed or just doing just going in like well not insane but like just not not myself and that's basically what happened on the 23rd because I was just drained of people picking on Tory people like trying to bad mother me so I just said in the end fuck it come New Year's Day I've already made one New Year's resolution and that's to basically um, just to say things how it is and basically if someone's an asshole they're a fucking asshole if someone's a twat they're a twat if someone wants to treat me like shit I'm gonna fucking tell them straight because I've had enough like the end of the day right I've been in a car crash I've got post-traumatic stress disorder from that having reoccurring nightmares and stuff like that I didn't mention that but after seeing the doctor a couple of days ago it's properly confirmed for me what I have so I have PTSD it's shit and it's all through car accident but at the end of it all um still me um I'm still trying my best to be like the happy bubbly go lucky girly little minx go queen because <laughs> I am the go queen at the end of the day everyone knows that the go queen in the movie community I'm freaking itchy I don't know what's wrong with me tonight um but other than that that's all what's happened like day 23 like on the 23rd of December like n nothing else really happened I just had a really really bad day and I didn't want to take it out on anybody that I cared about and stuff like that so I just left things as it is so that's done and dusted so it brings us to now vlog Christmas Eve well, say coming into Christmas Day, but I'll do something a little special for Christmas Day. Right, what did I do today? I've completely tidied up this whole kitchen, ready for tomorrow. Where the phone's at, this is going to be covered in buffet, because I'm doing a buffet tea tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I've done bags and bags full of washing. I've only got two loads left so I'm gonna leave that and have a nice Christmas I am um, actually I'll tell you something else as well I finally watched the League of Gentlemen Christmas special and I enjoyed it it was fun um, the only thing that hasn't come for Tori was her Narnia books, which I should be getting them after Christmas, so she, she'll get a little something after Christmas. But she doesn't mind. <sighs> um, as I said, I've completely blitzed this whole, because I have a open plan living room, diner, kitchen area. Upstairs, bathroom blitzed. My bedroom's tidied, changed, put new beds in on my new bed. Um, Tori's bedroom completely blitzed. She has a door in her room, so I put. She said to me, "Hey, mom, bet you any money you couldn't put these certain bags that were all on the floor everywhere in the bedroom." She said, I "Bet you couldn't put them in the wardrobe for me." And guess what? 
It's like it opened all the water and thing again. I said, yeah, I can. And I did. I done that. But you know what else I've had today? I haven't, well, at least for the past two days, I've non-stop drank green tea. And that's not what you mean. Mm. Yeah, so. Mm. I don't know if you can see it, but that's actually green tea. Well, this has got berries in it. It's helped me fall asleep. And also, I've finished the decorations. All the kitchen counters are done. Um, of course, Father Christmas has been. He's took a bite of his... He's had a good go of his mince pie. He had his soya milk. Don't forget, because Father Christmas here is lactose intolerant. So he has to have his soya milk. But, unfortunately, Rudolph didn't ask for carrots this year. First time ever, Rudolph never asked for carrots. Do you know what Rudolph asked for this year? Watermelon. Fucking watermelon. And I said, oh, there's one piece. He said, I want two. So I said, okay, you can have two. And by Christ, he ate them. So... Father Christmas has been, and I am going to have a eleven-year-old um wake up. But in our household, I want to talk a little quickly about something. Um, for the past six years, we don't celebrate Christmas like everybody else does. We celebrate Christmas at six o'clock at night. That's when we start celebrating Christmas. It's only because with me having very close friends in America and Canada and my little sisters out in Canada or Sammy. I've celebrated it when they've celebrated it. So I didn't get left out because I've been getting left out a few little things. So, that's why there's a, a few other reasons, but one of the main reasons is because Lori lives in America, James, Noel and Stephen and Michelle, Ali, Priscilla, or Sammy, Andre, uh, Chad, Jeremy, Chris, was it? Hang on, Jeremy. It's not Chris. Tony. Yeah, Tony. That's it. Jordan. And of course, Claire. So, yeah, that's why I celebrate it because when they start celebrating Christmas, I celebrate Christmas. And it's been like that tradition for me now for about six, seven years. So, I've got used to it, so it's just a nice little different, because people are saying to me, why do you celebrate Christmas at different times, everybody else, and I just go, oh, well, that's part of the reason, I'm having more green tea, so anyway, Tori's presents are over there, I'm so happy, I also said a little something to my smiler so I hope he's happy with just a little teensy wincy little sight to what I'm going to be bringing him over next month <laughs> so that's going to be good oh, I am just completely drained and I don't know what else more to say and I finished my beauty advent calendars and I, to be honest, it wasn't too bad this year, but I liked my beauty advent calendars with my nail polish and my soaps and my little bath bombs, which is something a little bit different. I'm just completely drained, I'm telling you now. I just don't know what else to say. But 
before I go. Um, I want to wish everybody, no matter wherever you are in the world, whether you're in Finland, Fuerteventura, Malta, the United States, Canada, Scotland, Ireland, Israel, India, Japan, Australia, the Philippines, wherever you're from. Um, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Joyous Noel and all that jazz. Um, from me, Skylar Loves Movies, Blogs and Travel. And I want to say a Merry Christmas on behalf of Skylar's Collagen Treatments. And I've got some exciting news. I finally got myself my massage bed. It's coming tomorrow. I was told yesterday that I finally got it. So I got my massage table, so I'm really thankful. And I'm just like so blessed that things are finally starting to get to get together and I just want 2019 to just be an amazing year for me. Especially with Skylar's collagen treatment, I just want that to be amazing as well. So yeah, so if you guys are wanting any appointments, I start my appointments 2nd of January. Because I'm just taking this entire Christmas time to spend with Tori and stuff like that. Which is really good. Um, so yeah, if you want any appointments, everything will recon reconvene on the 2nd of January. And then on the 30th of January, I'm away till the 9th of February. So there'll be no treatments in the UK as such, but there will maybe a couple where I'm going to so fingers crossed for that and I'm just so blessed that I have had amazing people amazing friends to like watch me back to make sure I'm okay and I I really want to say thank you because I I'm just blown away by so so many nice people lately and I feel incredibly blessed. I have so many amazing people. I don't know what to do with myself and yes I'm wearing glasses again so because I had to see what I was doing with certain stuff, so. But other than that, I'm just incredibly grateful. And I hope everybody has an amazing Christmas because all my YouTuber friends, they deserve an amazing Christmas. Um. My friends in my yoga spa in Malta, I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. Um, my friends in Tarandu, it's a restaurant in Malta. I hope you have an amazing, amazing Christmas and you serve incredible meals to you guys, to everyone. Drew a hair flare. Um, Catherine at Itor Malta. Um, Lee and Michelle at weddings in Malta, <sighs> which is like bittersweet because I'm going through some certain stuff. Um, what else? Who else? Oh, and last but not least, I need to wish my smiler and all his staff 
at Bombay Burritos, which is my favourite, favourite restaurant in the whole wide world. Now, I am just so blessed. Merry Christmas to you guys, and I hope you guys smash it today, because you guys deserve it, and so much more. Um, I can't wait to see you guys at the end of January. It's going to be so amazing. And then, um, what else? Oh, Tway Flawless. Wish you guys a merry, merry Christmas. And last but last but not certainly not least, I have to say Merry Christmas to all my gang at Subway. Becky, Connor, Lucy, Zav, Dan, Chris, Georgia, Nicole, Libby, um, Emma, uh, Jess. And if I've missed any other names out, Merry Christmas to you guys. And of course, my friend, Tammy, Paul, Dave, who's my little, little gang in name, Subway, when we all have our little coffee break together. And everyone else that knows me, Merry Christmas to you guys and have an amazing new year. And to all my YouTuber friends, Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. So I'm going to end it here. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Turn that notification bell on and you'll get a brand new Vlogmas video from me most days. Because don't forget, I carry on right till New Year's Day. Because I go right away through. Because I'm the only one that does it and I like to do things a little bit different. So... Yeah, so I've only got a few more days left. So I've got the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. So I've got eight days left. So, yeah. Stay glory and have unpleasant dreams. Merry Christmas. Bye.